Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today we are making uh, some cheesy mashed potato balls with bacon and chilli and chives, my friends. Absolutely shivery timbers, stimbers, timbers, stonkingly good. You're going to absolutely love them. Good times indeed. Hit pause on the video now if you want to have a go at making them. They are so, so good. You can put your own twist on it, as we will discuss any minute now. <laughs> Alright, so uh, today's random shout out Boston goes to a Dan Walsh, who is one of at least 10 people in the last week uh, that have requested this recipe, uh, except the one that he found was uh, bacon wrapped. Now whenever I've tried to do bacon wrapped in the past, sometimes it works, other times the bacon just unravels like a crazy like, lizard thing. I don't know what that was. So, we put bacon inside the bars. Bacon in the bars. So the first step you need to do is make your mashed potato. If you've made mashed potato, uh, say yesterday, and you've got some leftover, you can skip this step. But uh, I just basically uh, had some potatoes, added some milk, uh, pepper and butter, just mashed it all together. That's how I make my mash. So do it the way you normally do it. The main thing is you want to make it nice and thick. You don't want a watery mixture, otherwise it won't bond together later. So you know you can get those ready-made mashed potatoes in the refrigerated section in the supermarket? Do not use that, because it will just be like, like that. You don't want that. Into the potato, you can add whatever fillings you like. So I went for some chives, uh, some chilli for some spank, and also some bacon, which I chopped up really nice and fine, fried it up so it was all nice and crispy earlier on. Push that right into the bowl and mix it through until it's completely randomised and looking all colourful and stuff. Now it's really important to make sure your potato is nice and cool at this stage, because we're going to add in the egg now, which will help hold it all together. Otherwise you'll make a mashed potato omelette which could be kind of cool. But anyhow, add the egg in there, get it all nice and combined. And what you can do now is just put it in the fridge just to help firm it up even more to make the moulding easier. So here's the messy bit. Uh, with some cheese that's cut about an inch by an inch square, uh, you want to get it and push it into the mashed potato mixture, roll it into a bowl, and then stick it into your panko breadcrumbs. They're nice and light, crispy breadcrumbs. Uh, you could use standard ones uh, if you like. Get it all nice and rolled round into a bowl and keep it refrigerated to hold its shape until you're ready to fry. And when it comes to the frying, I really hate the smell of frying, just got to get that out there. My kitchen stinks right now, but anyhow, uh, you want to get your oil nice and hot and carefully lower the balls into the hot oil. And believe it or not, it'll only take about 10 seconds for it to fully colour. So put it in there and then rest it on some kitchen towel and repeat those steps until they're all done looking golden brown, bally goodness right there. I hope you'll agree they're looking absolutely stonking. Once they're halved and you give it a little squeeze, all that cheese will go out with all that chilli and bacon flavour in there. So, so good. Uh, serve it up with some sour cream and chive dip and dunk away to your heart's content. Exactly what I'm going to do right now. It's so, so good, guys. If you have a go at this recipe, send me a picture on Twitter, Instagram, at MyVirginKitchen. Uh, check out my last video if you haven't already, and subscribe if you aren't already too. It's for regular video recipes and fun food times. Mmm. My man's time no. Mmm. Bye-bye.